We have the honor of having hip-hop artist, activist, and author of War Child, Emmanuel Gell, here with us today. Emmanuel, welcome to Context. Thank you. Thank you so much for making me to be part of this show. So let's start at your childhood experience. At the age of about eight years old, you were taken to be a child soldier, and uh, this was after you lost most of your family as well, including your mother. Um, can you walk us a bit through this journey? What was it like being such a young boy and going through something so traumatic? The lowest point in this journey where I really, there's places I really want to die and there's places I want, to, it's like you change your mind, no, I want to die, no, I don't want to die. I wanted to see my family. I wanted to, to stay alive so I could be part of solution to help these problems. So those are the things I, I, I wanted to stay alive for. I remember I prayed to my mother's God and said, God, give me something to eat. And if I survive someday, this part of my journey, I'll always give the credit to you. So I stayed until like 11 a.m. when I was about to lose hope. A crow came on top of the tree. And that's the crow that answered my prayer. I didn't eat my friend. So, and that time more miracles happened. To me, certain things like this have no expla explanation as a child. And then I said, okay, my mom's God is there. But was your faith shaken with all these horrific things happening around you? Um, you still somehow believed that God was good and He wanted to help you. How did you believe that and how did you deal with really the horror that was surrounding you? As a child, children have faith, so much faith, you know. At that time, I could not doubt that God can do it. I, that the question, the only question is, why are you allowing me to suffer? It wasn't like, he cannot do it. I had faith that God will do a miracle. But the only thing that I was upset with God is why are you allowing me to suffer this way? Does that question still linger for you? Why did God allow me to suffer? For any suffering that comes to me, I don't question God why are you allowing me to suffer. Because I came to understand one thing is anything that has come your way God has given you enough grace if you only hold because that problem has got an equivalent blessing behind it. Once you come out of it, it's not longer you. You see, it's not going to be about you anymore. It's going to be about the millions. And at age 13, Emmanuel was rescued by an aid worker named Emma McCune. The greatest gift I ever got was this woman called Emma McCune, who doesn't look like me. She's not my color. She's from a foreign country with no relation. And she smuggled me, disarmed me, told me, put your gun down and I'm going to take you to school. All over the world, we have all these invisible angels like Emma. Who could ever know about who Emma was, except if I never told the story and, and have a song dedicated to her called Emma because of her being my turning point, she gave me an opportunity. You will never know and a, a, a potential of any child or any person if that person is not given an opportunity. I have an opportunity now. My past is ugly. All I can do now 
is paint the beautiful picture I could ever see. I've been given an opportunity with the summation of the choices I take every day. If I'm bitter, there's nothing I can do about my past. Its history is gone, but there's something I can do about now. So if you had the opportunity to broadcast something to the entire world, just one or two sentences, uh, what would you say? What wisdom would you impart? The mind is the greatest battlefield that every person need to have. Because even if you face countless defeat, but if you still believe that there's victory, when there is hope, if you haven't lost it in your mind, then you're going to succeed. Emmanuel Jal, such a powerful story. Thank you so much for being here at Context. Thank you, thank you.